The question often comes up, what should we look for in a pastor? What are the earmarks of a godly pastor? What are the characteristics that should mark a pastor's life? And the answer to that starts in Scripture. 1 Timothy 3, Titus 1 lists things like a one-woman man. That is a man who is committed to his wife. It also talks about a man who leads his own household well and his children are obedient and faithful. And then it talks about other aspects of character, not uh, loving money, uh, not being greedy, not being contentious. That, that's where you go. You start there and you look for those qualities in a man. And those would be qualities uh, not that you think might be there, but have been demonstrated there. And the church could say, yes, this man has those qualities. And then you would look for the one characteristic in 1 Timothy 3 and Titus 1 that is a function, and it says skilled in teaching. If he's going to be a feeder of the flock, which is what a pastor does, if he's going to be a preacher and teacher of the Word of God, he needs to have the gift to do that, a spirit-given gift. And he needs to have proven diligent in studying the Word of God so that he can discharge that teaching gift in its most effective way. And of course, then you would look, as Paul said to Timothy, be an example to the flock in everything. So you'd look for a life that is exemplary. In other words, there's integrity there because what you hear him say is what you know he believes and lives. Those are the kinds of things. Might be surprising to some people, there are some people who think what you're looking for is some kind of an over-the-top personality, some kind of great communication skills, uh, entrepreneurial uh, sense, uh, the ability to build an organization. No, the Bible doesn't talk about those things. Paul summed it up this way. Moreover, it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful. Just a faithful man, faithful to God, faithful to his family, faithful to his wife, faithful to his congregation, faithful to the scripture. That's a godly man doing ministry the way God designed it, and God will be the one who determines the blessing. I've always said I was concerned about the depth of my ministry, and I would leave the breadth of it to the Lord. And I think that's where we have to concentrate. Paul said to Timothy, and he kind of summed it up, take heed to yourself and to your teaching. Leave the rest to God.